In the last lecture, we saw com computer graphics definition, aspect ratio, and uh, resolution. So, we define resolution once again. So that you can write it in the exam. Okay. So resolution means what? Maximum number of pixels in a computer screen without overlap. Maximum number of pixels in a computer screen without overlap so what is overlapping if this is a pixel and this is another pixel they overlap each other this is the overlapping area so um, overlap. So, this is not a resolution. Okay. If this is a computer screen, and there are pixels in it, the maximum number of pixels are there and no two pixels are overlapping each other so this is called a uh, this is called a uh, non overlapping computer screen so its resolution is 16 you can count it so, maximum number of pixels in a computer screen without overlap is called the resolution. Now, I will come to next topic. Video display devices. What are video display devices? Examples are video monitors. Okay. So in this computer graphics syllabus, we are talking about the desktop monitors. Okay. They are connected with the CPU. They are called cathode ray tube monitors. So video monitor is the primary output device in a graphic system ok video monitor is the primary output device in a graphic system we are talking about desktop monitors so why it is primary? We can create an image or object or a video and we can see it in the monitor. So this is the primary output device. Okay. And what is secondary output device? 
एग्जाम्पल प्रिंटर प्रिंटर इज द सेकेंडरी आउटपुट डिवाइस it prints the exit is copy it, it prints the exact copy of video monitor okay then uh, this is the secondary output device printer is a secondary output device but video monitor is the primary output device also it is made up from cathode ray tube okay it can be made up uh, like a led or lcd uh, monitors but uh, we are not talking about uh, that monitors we are talking about the desktop monitors so what is cathode ray tube crt crt monitor okay i will show you a diagram about uh, uh, of crt monitor so we draw a crt monitor this is the cathode ray tube and it contains a normal gas filled inside so we uh, start with a with the connector spin so it is attached with the cpu through a wire you generally saw that a desktop monitor is attached with the cpu through a wire so this is the wire that you saw earlier <clears throat> this is connector spin and is attached with the cpu <clears throat> cpu will generate a power supply and this cathode ray tube the normal gas filled inside will ionize and the left hand side becomes negatively charged and the right hand side will becomes positively charged it contains a base base is a metal that heats up and uh, produce electron beam this is the electron beam this is the electron beam so base is a metal that uh, heats up and uh, produce electron beam after after that this is the control grid so if the electron beam intensity is higher then control grid decreases it and if the control if the electron beam intensity is lower then control grid increases it okay so control grids <coughs> so control grid always work on the intensity of the electron beam so this is so this is negatively charged electron beam this is negatively charged electron beam after that after that it will go into a accelerating anode accelerating anode means anode means positively charged particle this is the positively charged particle uh, this is the positively charged element and opposite attracts each other so negative and positive uh, will attract each other so electron beam goes into the accelerating anode and it will accelerate and it passes away from that from this side from the right hand side because accelerating anode has a hole in it okay so the accelerating anode uh, after 
after the accelerating anode there is a focusing anode there is a focusing anode so what a focusing anode will do if the electron beam is going like this and the electron changes the path okay then focusing anode move the electrons into a uh, line into a beam and then it passes this is the focusing anode so if that electrons um uh, changes direction then it focuses on the beam then electrons will pass and um uh, and go into the horizontal deflection plate okay so if there is a uh t means i i have to write uh t then what does horizontal plate will do and what does vertical plate will do actually it moves the electron beam horizontal deflection plate will move the uh, will move the electron beam from uh, right hand side to left hand side in the horizontal line and vertical deflection plate will move the electron beam from the from up and down in the in a vertical line okay so that is the horizontal plate horizontal deflection plate and vertical deflection plate do so if we type a if we type a so this is not vertical enough and this is not horizontal enough so horizontal deflection plate and vertical deflection plate will both work and produces a okay so this is the negatively charged electron beam and the phosphor scooter screen is there the positively charged and the negatively charged will meet and they will make a chemical reaction and phosphorus will glow okay if we make a t in the computer screen then the phosphorus behind the t this is the phosphorus behind t will glow after uh, electron beams electron beam uh, after uh, there is a there is a chemical reaction between uh, electron beam and phosphorus okay so it will glow and will make a t